What is going on, brothers and sisters? Today, we're going to find out the age-old question. Why did the chicken cross the road? And that was to get over to Rainbow Island and figure out how many of them it takes to crash Rainbow Island. We're going to breed chickens over here until this area is so filled with chickens that maybe my incinerator slimes over here just automatically get fed. So you can see here, we've already got a bit going here. These are just from my live streams that we do. So these chickens, we're going to build a few coops that we can get these things just super processed. I've got 61 grand, not too shabby. We're going to place all these coops. We're going to fully level these things up and fill them. Every bad idea starts with an even worse thought process. So we're going to fill this up. I've got three coops here. I'm going to grab all the chickens I have free ranging out here for now. Grab some roostros to really beef these hens up, if you know what I mean. And then we're going to throw them throughout those pens and then we're going to sleep. We are going to sleep these days away and let those roosters coo. You know what I mean? I left the walls low because I want them to go flying out of here if they can. That way, this whole area just starts to get populated on its own as well. So I'm not too keen about restricting them. One, two, three. I'm just using these to help with the breeding process. And this will also kind of tell us how much faster things breed within a pen rather than being free to roam as they please. Let's get some more chickens. Now we do what we do best. We're going to sleep for three days. So we started off at midnight of day 32. And we're going to bring this to 6 a.m. of day 35. That's two days of sleep. I don't know if I have to get out of this menu for the game to register what happens in these three days. But we'll find out here. Three days later, here's the progress. We got a lot of little chickies in here. We got a lot of freedom happening in this world, which is a beautiful thing. And we got some more even here. I'm going to test it. I'm going to pause it for one day, get out, come back in, blah, 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 blah. So we can see if uh, it makes a difference if I let it go for three days, but I exit that menu first. So let's head home. Hopefully uh, all these slimes don't escape. I have a feeling they're going to. These crystal slimes seem very mad about not being fed. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Sleepy time. We'll go to, you know, let's go to day 40. Day 40 is ago, I'm leaving my base as fast as possible so my angry Largos over there don't take over the world. Wow, look at them all. They're getting bigger. We got tons of them now, so I'm thinking it feels like it works better if I just exit for the day. So we'll do just that. Look at them all. Ugh, they're all beautiful. But you know what I don't see? I don't see any babes. The babes are just non-existent. Where are my little chickies? There's one, like two, three... It's a couple, I guess, but there's not a lot just kind of hanging out in here. Oh, there's a bunch over here, I suppose. These guys look hungry. Okay, oh no, there's a ton over here. It seems like the free range ones doing a lot better right now than our cage chickies, but we'll keep an eye on them. We'll see what happens here. All right, it's not nearly enough to lag the game. We, we're still got perfect frames. Let's go for another 10 days. I'm seeing how much it affects if I just run it for 10 days straight here without leaving this menu prompt. I feel like we'll get a good idea if this actually works out. We're on day 50 now. So we start on 32. We're 18 big old days later. Let's head back to our farm up here. Oh, I can feel I felt a little lag there. Not a lot, though. <laughs> Look at them. Uh, they're eating the water lettuce. They're beautiful. Hello, my little chickies. Welcome. Welcome aboard, everybody. How are you guys doing? You seem not happy, but that's fine. These really don't seem to be making much of a difference. I honestly, it's hard to tell because there's a ton of like stuff around it, you know? It's really hard to tell if this is actually making a difference. Cause I mean, like look over here, there's tons of them. All right, hold on. I wonder if I just delete this, will everything in it get deleted as well? Nope, freedom! Freedom, my little chickies. I don't think these are doing too much. Bring freedom to the chickadoos. And let's close this out. And you know what this is missing? We're missing variety. I did grab a couple like stony hens. Or not even stone hens, briar hens. They're right there. You can see there's a couple of them. There's actually not a lot of them though. I want to add some hen hens to this. So let's go on a little exploration today, shall we? 
Here they are. Oh no, it's gonna get eaten. Where'd it go? Ooh, I lost it. I think I flung it somewhere. Oh no, there it was. But those are what I'm after. I want some sea hens. I want some variety out there. You can see my pockets here. I have some stony chicks in there too. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ooh, gotcha. All right, there's a sea hen. You gotta be careful. These sea hens are just the food of choice out here. So we gotta watch out for all these carnivorous mongrels. So I'm gonna run around. We're gonna grab some sea hens, bring them back to join in the battle of attrition of breaking it down. <laughs> slime Rancher 2. How many chickens does it take to break Slime Rancher 2? Here's a great spot. We got a few of these. Oh no, Angler Slimes are spawning. Grab them all. Get them all. Get out of here. Suck these idiots up. See you later. I will take some sand. Sand is still a very useful resource, especially if you want to beautify your game. Pick up your sand, kids. All right, I can noticeably feel the difference right now, especially when I cross the threshold coming over here, but I only found 10 in total. So I'm going to plop these. I'm going to use these to see how far they roam. So we're going to throw these guys over here, plus the little cute chicky. Um, we got a shit ton of roostros over here, so I'll dump these somewhere else. But I'm going to plop out our other guys here. Just some regular hen hens we found. I'll pump out some roostros, and I'll put some stony hens over here, too. I doubt we're going to really see much of the stonies and the briars, because they kind of blend in pretty nicely. But you can see I've got a couple briar hens over here, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. They're probably going to be overrun by the regular hen hens, but that's fine. I just really want to see these nice blue sea hens. I want to see how much they like propagate and spread throughout the land. Time to sleep for 15 days. Fifteen days are up. We're on day sixty. Start on thirty-two. Oh my god! Oh, you feel that? You feel that lag? Oh, baby, I love this. What are these? Do you see those eggs? I saw eggs. Did you see eggs? Look at them all. Oh, the lag's not as bad now that we're out here. But jeez, it was there for a bit. Look at all these chicky dudes. Oh, let me grab some of these. It's not lagging so much I can't pick them up, so we're not there yet, that's for sure. Oh, look at that. There's a there's a briar chick one right there. I'm trying to see where our where our sea hens are. There's a oh, they're mixed in with the cabbage? No. Wait. No, yes. Not sure. I don't think Oh, there's a couple. All right, I want this roostro to have a few friends. And I'm wondering if I place these guys up here, if they'll stay up here more so. There we go. Pool shot them in there. Those are for your future. I'm wondering where all the sea hens are. Maybe they're babies. So maybe it takes time for the, like it produced all the babies, but maybe the babies don't get that much bigger. I'm waiting for them, for these to start climbing in here and feeding these guys too. That'll be fantastic. All right, let's do another 15 days but i'll exit after every single day to see if it uh if it feels any different doing that again now that we've got more of a sample size here to play with right but if you're loving this kind of fun make sure you do hit that subscribe button down below we play a lot of games similar to this and we'll be doing some more little fun things like this if this is what you all enjoy i know i do i like breaking things so why not start here Day 80 is upon us. Let's get the heck out of here before those flutters like to escape right now. They're pretty mad. I also have cubes. Oh my word. You feel that? Oh, I'm sp my character sprinting right now. It stops sprinting. Are we going to? Oh, it clears up when we get out here, though. <laughs> oh, baby. Look at them all. They're beautiful. There's a sea hen. You can see some elders roaming around here. And that lag was something special there. I don't see any uh, plorts in here or any ash. It doesn't look like they're flying into there just yet. Take a little walk around here, see how everyone's doing. I wonder if I have to like walk into these areas for it to like really, oh my God, look, there's a ton down here. Are they going into the next zone? I don't think they leave zones. I've never seen them do that before, but just double check. No, it's empty. Doing great, doing great. All right, let's sleep today 100.
Day a hundred. Day a hundred. Obviously minus 32. We start on day 32. So we're like day 68. That's fine. And the lag is beautiful. Excuse me. Trying to come in. Excuse me. Push through the lag. It's okay. We'll make it to the door. Oh man, the chickies are coming over here now. Uh, this is beautiful. Look at this. I can't. Oh, oh, we're back. We're okay. So it's just laggy in the cave. All right, cool. Everything loaded that time. That was phenomenal. Seeing a couple sea hens. Still nothing fantastic on them, though. Propagation mighty slow comparatively. I don't know what I'm going to do to clean all this up eventually, but I'm hoping it just breaks the game and I never have to come over here again. And that's the plan. So look at them all. It's like no moving space almost. Just kidding. We got plenty of room. Let's get some more chickens. How about day 150? In the yard of keeping this less confusing, since we started on day 32, this is now day 100 since we began our chicken breeding. Keep those flutters in your cage, boys. They love that nectar, but man, when you combine them with a honey slime, oh god. Oh my god. I can't move. I think the best. Oh, the chickens, they're starting to come this way. Yes. This is a full sprint, by the way, brothers and sisters. A full sprint. Ugh. Give it to me. Show me your beautiful birds. These chooks. These chooks are beautiful. Oh, is it gonna, is it gonna like, is it gonna, <laughs> right, is it gonna calm down or is this, I think this is it. Oh, nope, there it goes, it calmed down. All right, got a bunch up here now. Oh man, look at them all. Can't wait. Look at, we've even got some up there hanging out. We've got them down here. It doesn't seem like they're going past this mark though, which is nice. All right, that's, that's still not enough. This is a hundred days of breeding. Let's go to day 150 of breeding, which for me will be a day 182 in game. I'll see you then. Oh baby, day 182 in game, day 150 of breeding our little cheeky chooks. Let's go. See how long it takes for me to get inside. So it's 606. Oh, it hurts so good. Nothing makes me feel better when playing a game like this than to do this intentionally. Look at this. Ah, oh, the beautiful thing. I'm still sprinting, by the way. This is a full, <laughs> this is a full sprint. All right, Cheeky Chucks, how are we looking out here? How many of you do we have? Cool 100,000? I feel like there's barely 2,000 out here. There's a lot, but there could be more. I love it. Ah, I want. I wish I had like my frames overlaid so I could see how many frames I'm getting. I'm gonna change that in a second. How long is it gonna take for it to uh, catch up here with the render process? Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Just look at them flap their little wings. Is this permanent now? Is this just how the map is gonna be? Nope, it, it evened out. There we go. Little laggy, but still pretty smooth. Took a while to get in here. No big deal though, right? Take a little peek around here. Everything's looking pretty decent still. Tons of cheeky chooks all around the place. Lots of roostros. The sea hens are rather non-existent, so it's pretty sad. The roostros are definitely taking preferential treatment to the hen hens, and I don't appreciate that. All right, let's go. For, let's sleep for a hundred more days. This is officially day two hundred of hen hen breeding. I did do a little experiment. I threw two sea hens and two roostros into a brand new coop. I want to see how exponentially they grow in these days. Ah, yes. This is my favorite part. This is when you know you're doing a good job. This is like your teacher giving you a gold star for being a freaking idiot. Right here. This is the one. You know, when you play a game and you get it to lag this much, it's almost like getting a 100 on a test, but spelling your name wrong. So it counts as a zero. In the end, you know you won, but, but only you suffer because then you can never play again. We'll see. It's not great, but it's not good. It's not good enough. I can see a couple sea hens over here. I see a lot more sea hens actually here than we did before. Look, you can see those eggs there. 
right in front of us. I really want to suck one up. You can see the eggs. They're popping into chickadoos right now, though. I wonder if an egg is an actual item in the game. Maybe with the lag, I can actually get that. Look at them. There's a couple of them over here. Come on, land it. Suck up that egg. Nope, it counted as a hen hen. There's eggs here too. Yeah, they're just hen hens. Just little chickadoos, but the lag is gone. Get rid of these things here. See you later, friends. All right. So these didn't change at all. So I'm thinking that by just sleeping for a hundred days does nothing. Because look, nothing's changed in this pen. We have sea hens and that's it. Just the two I put in here. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to sleep for 10 more days, but I'm going to exit the, I'm going to exit the menu and go back in and then see how that looks after that and see if that's different or if we have to even enter this area because maybe it doesn't uh, fully cooperate with us. All right, this will be another 10 days of progress here, but I exited the menu this time to make sure or to see if this makes a difference with those 10, those two sea hens that we have over there. If not, that means we actually have to enter and exit this area each and every time. So we'll have to see which is truly the case. God, I love it. Look at the lag. Oh, see, look, it was actually a lot better that time. So it probably was trying to like render in like a hundred, like, you know, 50 days at a time worth of activity. But now this time it just had one day to do. So it wasn't so bad in the lag zone. But when we look at our sea hens over here, can these just not breed? Guys, will you like do the thing when you like touch feathers, smash beaks? Let's see, Slamopedia. Where's my sea hens? Are you breedable? Oh, these are slimes. We need food. Duh. I'm missing one? What food am I missing? Sea hen! Lovable trash. Like your favorite bad movie? Oh my god! <laughs> That's awful! That is terrible! Wow. I can't believe they said that. That is so rude. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do 10 days of entering in here. We're gonna enter the zone and then leave immediately for 10 days. All right, day 252, 100 and 120 days, 120 days of hen hen breeding. I did a second test here. I put a hen down with just three hen hens and three roosters in it. Look at those eggies to see if it would change at all. I'm wondering if there's a breeding cap. And you know what this tells me? It tells me there's a breeding cap. So there must be some sort of object limit to a zone because these aren't breeding at all. We've got six hen hens in here and three roostros. And if we go back to our original uh, sea hens over here, you can see, oh, it looks like some other ones snuck in oh you know i did throw some across the map to see if these would fly in here so it looks like this is it this is what 200 and plus days we'll call it 200 this is what 200 days of hen hen breeding looks like it doesn't look like we're going to get any more than this because I, there's got to be some sort of cap because the the breeders are not doing anything it's too bad because if we could have these guys just fly into these things and automatically feed our cinders imagine the possibilities but all right brothers and sisters if you found this entertaining on how many uh hen hens it would take to break the game it's it's this many 200 days worth because the game just stops producing them because the game hates us and doesn't want us to break it bad on them subscribe if you're loving this kind of stuff and as usual i hope the rest of your day is not too shabby